So for this question, we have a sequence which starts with a1 equals 1, and then for each successive member of the sequence, you square the previous one and multiply it by 3. So a2 will be 1 squared times 3, which is 3. a3 will be 3 squared, which is 9 times 3, which gives us 27, and so on. So suppose we want to prove directly by induction that an is less than or equal to 3 to the 2 to the n. If we look at the base case, we know that a1 should be less than or equal to 3 to the 2 to the 1, which is 3 squared, which is 9. So that certainly holds. But if we try the inductive hypothesis, given that ak is less than or equal to 3 to the 2 to the k, then ak plus 1 which is equal to 3 times ak squared has to be less than or equal to 3 times 3 to the 2 to the k squared, which is equal to 3 times 3 to the 2 times 2 to the k, which is equal to 3 times 3 to the 2 to the k plus 1. Now this isn't exactly what we want. We want a to the k plus 1 is less than or equal to 3 to the 2 to the k plus 1, but we have this extra factor of 3 in the way. And since um, the, the build and direction of the inequality, we can't just drop that. So instead, we try the suggestion of proving that a to the n is less than or equal to 3 to the 2 to the n, minus 1. So then the base case is that a1 is less than or equal to 3 times 2 to the 1 minus 1, which is 1, which is equal to 3. And since a1 equals 1, obviously that holds. Then assuming that ak is less than or equal to 3 times 2 to the k minus 1, That implies that ak plus 1, which is equal to 3 times ak squared, is less than or equal to 3 times 3 to the 2 to the k minus 1 squared, which is equal to 3 times 3 times 2 2 to the k one, which is equal to three times three times two to the k plus one, so that's two times two to the k minus two. And since we multiply that by three, we can just add a power of one to the a get three to the power of two to the k plus one minus one, which is in fact exactly what we want over here. So we can see that by induction, a to the n is less than or equal to 3 times 2 to the n minus 1. And that's obviously less than or equal to 3 times 2 to the n. So we managed to prove the original statement using a strongly inductive statement.